So in diagrams.net, when you start up a diagram file, this is what you see. And on the bottom, you see that it says base one. If I were to go around and then let's say double click, then you can name a uh, rename this page right here. So I'm just going to go around and rename this to TutuTube one right here and then rename it out. And there's this page. So uh, what you can also do is click on the plus button, then another page is added in. So I, I can just go around and rename this out to TutuTube two and click on rename. And this is what you have. And you can work around with a different diagram here on. So you can go around and add in many pages as you wish. And you can go around, click and drag around the pages to rearrange the pages as well. If you were to go around and click on the three dot button right here, then you can go around, select out pages from over here as well. Or you can rename out this particular page that is open as well to whatever you want and it'll be renamed. Let me just go around and rename this out to let's say TutuTube three right here. Uh, I'm just going to go around type in TutuTube 3 and click on rename and this is what you have. If I were to click on the three dot button, you can also go around and then here you can see that, uh, let me go to TutuTube 1, uh, there's a diagram right here. If I were to click on the three dot button and duplicate out the space, then this is what you have as you can see. If I were to click on the three dot button, you can also insert out page right here. Uh, by choosing that and a new piece will be inserted over here. So that is how you can work around with inserting and managing of pieces inside of diagrams.net. So I hope you guys learn something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.